this video, I'm going to show you how to create an offset text effect like the one that you see here. And I'm going to show you how to do this in PowerPoint, but the same concepts can definitely be applied to whatever other image software you are using. So before we start, I just wanted to mention that I am creating this tutorial mainly because I posted a little bit about how I use these image headers in Google Keep and how you can create your own image headers, but a lot of people were really curious how I was doing this text effect. So that is the inspiration for this video, and I will link that in the description if you are curious um, on how to do that as well. So let's go back to PowerPoint, and it's actually really simple how you can create this text effect. So I am going to just open a new document. Now, if you are looking to do any type of graphic where you want to change the slide dimensions in PowerPoint, um, just very quickly, you want to come up here. So I'm in design at the top and then I'll click on page setup. And this is going to let me change the dimensions. So if I'm just going to, let's see, I'll type in errands because that was actually a header that I wanted to create that I hadn't, haven't created yet. So I'm going to just go to the font that I used was um, AG sorry not sorry and I'm going to make that a lot bigger. Real quick one thing we can do before we start and you don't technically have to do this but it does make your life a little bit easier. If you click on a range up here at the top and then select selection pane it's going to open up this little like dialog box with all of your layers so right now we have one layer and i'm just going to rename this oops i'm going to rename this the like color layer and now i'm just going to change the color real quick okay so now i'm going to select the layer and i'm going to control c for copy control v for paste and now I have two layers. So I'm going to rename this one the outline layer. And again, you don't have to do this extra step, but I do find that it makes it easier when you have the two layers on top of each other. It's really hard to like select back and forth to select like the one behind it. So I find that this is a lot easier. So I'm going to move that back down here for a minute. And I'm going to highlight all of the text, right mouse click, and then click on Format Text Effects. So now what I want to do is, and this is my outline layer, so now I'm going to click on No Fill, and then Text Outline, Solid Line, and then I can change the color of that if I want. So you can see behind it that it has the two layers that I want. But of course, I'm going to kind of move them around a little bit. And then this, again, is where having this um, selection pane comes in handy because I can very easily click back and forth between my two layers. So I'm going to click on the outline layer and then I'm just going to use my keyboard to move it around a little bit. I could, you know, there we go. I'll stick with that one. So anyway, that is how to create the offset text effect. One more quick thing before we go, um, obviously in PowerPoint, you have a lot of colors to choose from, but I know that sometimes we like to have our own custom colors and maybe we see a color on a website that we really like and we want to replicate it. And specifically, this is what I did with my Google Keep headers. I wanted them to match the like color options that Google Keep actually gives you. So you can see that I have all of the colors and they are an exact match. So I'm going to show you quickly how I did that. So there is a Google Chrome extension called Eyedropper. And once you have the Google Chrome extension, you can access it right from the top of your browser here. And basically, if you just Google Eyedropper Google Chrome extension, you can um, download it and it will add to your Google Chrome. And basically you can see that it gives you the exact code here. And then for PowerPoint specifically, we want these RBG or RGB <laughs> colors um, to be able to recreate. So I'm going to just click on pick color from web page. And then you can see that, you know, I'm kind of hovering over the colors that I want. And 
down in this right corner here, you can see that it is grabbing the coat for all of these colors. So let's say I'm going to go with this, we'll go with this purple here. So I'm going to select that. Now you can see when I come up here back to eyedropper that the color I have selected, this purple color is now showing up right here. So now all I need to do is just kind of transfer these numbers over. So um, let's come back to PowerPoint real quick. And actually I'm gonna do a, just split screen here real quick. So I'm going to click on color and then come up here to more colors in PowerPoint. And then you can see down here, I've got red, blue, green. That is the RGB color that I was referring to over here. So I've just got, let's see, 216, 175. So 216, 175. And then what was the other color? 252. So now you can see that it has changed to this little purple color. I'm going to click OK. And now I've got my custom Google Keep color. You can basically do this with any color on any website that you want. But specifically, again, this is how I used it to grab the Google Keep colors that they have as like their default. So anyway, that is how I created these Google Keep headers with this offset text effect. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And of course, if you found this helpful, I would love if you could like and subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.